The following segment is sponsored by Creative Society. Most of us don't understand the inner workings of our heating and air conditioning systems. We just want them to work. We leave the details to the pros at American Veteran Air Conditioning. Sean McGraw's with us this morning. Hey, Sean. Hey, how you doing? Great, great. You get a lot of questions in the field, and one thing that comes up all the time is homeowners like to assume that they need a bigger AC unit, but bigger's not always better, right? That's correct. Um, usually, the problem isn't necessarily with the AC unit itself. It's more involved with the duct system that's uh, attached to it. So, put it in perspective, all that duct work is underneath the house or in the attic. If it's leaking out small cracks throughout that duct work, while it might not seem like a lot, um, in one space, that all adds up, and you can end up putting a lot of paid-for air where you don't want it in unconditioned parts of your house, and that means that the air that you're paying for isn't able to get it inside the house. Well, and to determine the correct size for a unit, there's a lot of math involved. You do a, a load calculation. Tell us what factors are taken into account. Yeah, uh, a heat load calculation encompasses everything that's going on in that house, so I'm looking at how many windows do we have in the house? Are they east facing? Are they north facing? Um, what type of infiltration we have in the house? How much air, how loose is the house built? Or is it built really tight? I mean, everything comes into play as to the, the, the amount of insulation in the attic, obviously, what color the shingles are on the roof. Uh, there, there's so much that is encompassed in there to make sure that we're sizing the unit appropriately to the house that needs to be in there and that it's getting the proper runtime that it needs to as well. Now, what happens if the unit is oversized? It's not a matter of just using it less, right? There's a problem. Yeah, you know, and that's a misconception. A, a lot of folks will think that if I can cool my house off quicker, I'm saving money. Well, not really, because you don't want that unit coming on and off. And the second purpose of an AC unit in a house is to dehumidify that house. So if you're not getting a good run time, at least 20 minutes in between cycles, then it's not able to pull out the moisture inside the home. So you can be 65 degrees in the home and 80% humidity be absolutely miserable. Whereas if you sized it appropriately, you could have it at 73 degrees in your house and be completely comfortable because we got that humidity down to 40, 50%. Yeah, you don't want all that humidity. Between air conditioning, heating, installing those systems and maintaining them, homeowners feel like they have a lot to keep up with, but that's why you created a monthly package, makes it easy for everybody. Tell us about that all-in-one comfort plan. Yeah, that came really from uh, one of the main things that we need to do when we're going in, in people's houses, and we train this to our technicians, anybody that's in, in, in front of a customer, is that we're here to listen to the customer, figure out what their needs are. And this is that's where the all-in-one comfort plan came from, was from listening to the customers and figuring out exactly what they're looking for out of us. So we wrapped all that into a package. So not only are we replacing the AC unit with a high efficiency York unit, we're also going ahead and taking care of 10 years of maintenance, that's twice a year on the, on the home, or on the unit on the home, and covering any repair costs that, that are incurred throughout those 10 years. So basically for 10 years, you don't have to worry about that system. That sounds very reassuring. People are gonna be interested in that. They can call American Veteran at the number on your screen, 435-0822, or visit the website American Veteran ac.com sean anything else on your mind before we let you go for the day well um i do want to give a, a little bit of a shout out to i guess all of our military personnel and and as well as our veterans and to our police force our firefighters and all our first responders make sure that you still know we appreciate you and we do offer 10 percent discount to any of y'all that call call us up so let us know if that's within your wheelhouse there or within your field so we can make sure we take care of you appropriately Wonderful. Thanks so much for being here, and we look forward to check in with you soon. Yes, ma'am. Thank you.